completely distracted because there's little chicks and chickens everywhere. We have Haley and Tegan joining us, just local ag experts who want to give us a rundown on raising chickens and incubating eggs. Thank you both for being here today and bringing lovely little friends with us. Now, Haley's been on before and she brought chicken on last time but Haley these are different chicks right yep. <laughs> these ones were hatched um, at Farm America and they're about four or five days old four to five days old how like what what is it how quick does a chick grow up to be a chicken I guess um it's about 18 weeks until they start laying eggs um, so I guess that would be when I would consider them becoming a chicken okay but um, they can move and like live outside um, at around eight weeks. Wow. Oh, wow. So how, how old is this chicken uh, then? 14 and a half weeks. What? That's how big and a half they can weeks. get? Mm -hmm. In wow. that short amount of time? <laughs> oh my <We're> gosh. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. And so when you're, um, if, you know, for people at home, you know, who have, who've um, thought about, you know, getting chickens and incubating them, um, incubating eggs, like what does that process look like? So at Farm America, we have an incubator, and every month we have chicks hatching. Um, from the minute the egg is laid, it's about 21 days until they hatch in mm. the incubator. And the incubator is a machine that has um, a humidifier and a heater, um, and it spins and rotates the eggs just like a mother hen would, so you don't have to have mm. a hen in order to incubate the eggs. Oh, wow. Oh, really? So then I'm is, so, um, uh, so then where do you then get the eggs? Um, we have a local farmer partnership at Farm America, mm -hmm. so we get our eggs from him, but now we have the full circle at Farm America. We have hens in the barn with a rooster, and they lay eggs, and then we hatch the eggs wow. and bring them out to the barn for um, the next time. So it's really just a great process to come see at Farm America, especially because you can get up close to the incubator, see what they look like. It's really been cool working there. Thanks, Haley. And Tegan, you've worked with chickens exclusively on your farm, right? Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Well, so first we either hatch the chicks and like, or we buy them from the hatchery and then they get mailed to us through the mail. And then we keep them in our basement until they are they have enough feathers to go out in the garage. Mm -hmm. And then after that they will go outside in like a barn with a pen on it. And then after the fair for us, then they can go outside and they can go wherever they want on our farm because they're free range. That's what they do when they, and they'll eat everything. <laughs> Just everything. Okay, I actually, no, I have a question. <laughs> so, um, okay, is that real? Can can chickens keep your lawn low? Like, well, would they be, like, considered a good lawnmower? <laughs> Maybe for a small area, but not for, like, your entire yard. Yeah, okay. Right, it would okay. take a lot of chickens. I would say, like, <laughs> a better bet would be goats. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. It would be okay. goats. Okay, I good don't have You need a farm animal, get goats <laughs> to mow your lawn with. <laughs> And Tegan, you were mentioning fairs before. What does that look like? You just bring chickens over to a fair and display them, or what is that like? Well, so first we, the, the chicks, and then once, about this time of year for us, we will go and try and like start taming them for us. So like, and we have a mixture of oats and sunflower seeds that we use as a treat, and we'll go out there and sit with them and try and like get them used to us and stuff. And then we have to go wash them and we put them in our garage in a smaller pen so that way they get used to being in a smaller pen. Mm. And then we will take them to the fair and then we'll show them at the fair. So wow, that's fascinating. the training? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you, don't, you can't like teach a chicken how to sit or <laughs> no. stuff Funnick. like that? <laughs> Unfortunately. No, that'd be really Not cool yet. though. Not yet. <laughs> and you brought some eggs with you today. Are these from your farm, Tegan? Yes. Oh, wow, fun. And I guess, do these eggs, can they be sold around the area or where do they go after they're um, existing. <laughs> for us, we normally sell them to different people who want eggs, and we sell them for three dollars a dozen. And either that, or we will try and incubate them if that's in like the later winter. Okay, great. All right, cool. Thank you both so much for being on today, and more to come on Kato Living after the break. Stay with us.